Good morning, good afternoon, sorry, everyone. Good afternoon. This is English for 10th grade. This is class number four. Our topic for today is plural nouns and holidays. My name is Sabi Vega. I'm your English teacher. How to make plural? First, let's start describing what is a noun. A noun is a word that name a person, an animal, a thing, or an idea. Noun can be singular and plural. Today, we are going to learn how to make a singular noun into a plural noun. Plural nouns are words used to indicate that typically denote more than one person, more than one animal, more than one thing, more than one idea. Okay? There are some rules that we need to learn when we make plurals. The first rule says that most nouns just need an S at the end of the word to make it plural. Like, for example, I have the word car, the noun car. Car is a name of an object. Car is singular. If I'm talking about more than two cars, then I just add the S to the noun. Car, one car, two cars. Desk, one desk, two desks. Hand. One hand, two hands, three, one tree, two trees, ball, one ball, three balls. For nouns that end in S, X, Z, C, H, or S, H, we need to add an extra syllable. Yes, and the extra syllable is the combination of the letters E and S at the end of the word. If we have the noun bus, then to make it plural, we add ES, bus, buses, box, boxes, to pass, to passes, dish, dishes. Why do we have this type of rule? Okay, because if you pronounce this word bus, it already ends in an S sound. So it is difficult to pronounce bus. So we need an extra syllable for the word to sound better. Bus, buses, box, boxes, dish, dishes. For some words that end in O, the vowel, we need to add the extra syllable, ES, at the end of the word. But for others that end in O, we just need to add the S at the end of the word. Here we have the rules to clarify your doubts. Plural nouns. We have regular plural nouns. Most regular nouns just need to be added the S. Like, for example, a car, one car, two cars, one dog. Two dogs, one book, two books, one house, two houses, one apple, two apples. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> For words that end in S, C, H, S, H, X, or Z, we need to add the extra syllable. One bus, two buses. One match, two matches. One dish, two dishes. One box, two boxes. One quiz, two quizzes. There are some nouns that end in an F. If the word ends in an F or F-E, we need to remove, delete, delete, take out, remove the letter F and add V-E-S. So you say one leaf, two leaves, one wolf, two wolves, one life, two lives, one knife, two knives. There are some exceptions. Every rule has an exception. And the exceptions are the word roof 
and the word cliff. You just need to add the S. Roof, roofs, cliff, cliffs. Okay, in the case of the noun that end in a vowel, and after the vowel we have a Y, we just need to add the S. Look, for example, at the word they. Consonant, vowel, Y. Vowel plus Y, you just need to add the S. They, they, one day, two days, one key, two keys, one boy, two boys, one guy, two guys, one donkey, two donkeys. But when the word ends in a consonant plus Y, we need to remove the Y and add I, E, S, the extra syllable. Then we have city. In here we have a consonant, the letter T. And the Y, what do we need to do? Remove, delete, drop out the Y and add the I plus the extra syllable. Then you say a city, two cities, a baby, two babies, one story, two stories, one party, two parties, one country, two countries. There are some irregular nouns. Why are they called irregular? Because the word change. The word will take into something different. So you say one man, two men. Yes, we move or we remove the A and switch it for an E. One man, two men. One child, two children. Different pronunciation and different derivation. One foot, double O, one foot, two feet, double E, double O. Then we switch or remove the double the double O, and then we write double E. Two foot, two feet. One tooth, two teeth. One mouse, one mice. Wow, yes, this is totally different. Mouse, one mouse, that's singular. But when we have more than one, then we use the word mice. Mice. One mouse, two mice. One person, two people. Yes. The plural of person is people, not persons. That's incorrect. The plural of person is people. So if you say, I have met three people, I have met four people, I have met five new people. Okay? Person is singular, people is plural. Because person is an irregular noun. Okay, now we have the ones ending in vowel plus O. If you have a word or a noun that ends in a vowel and then it has the O, you just need to add the S, like in the case of zoo, Z O O O O, vowel O, Zoos, radio, I O, vowel O, radios, just the S, because we have the vowel and the letter O. One zoo, two zoos. One radio, two radios. One stereo, two stereos. One video, two videos. One kangaroo, two kangaroos. But in the case of the word that ends in O, but before you have a consonant, you need to add the extra syllable, the ES. One hero, two heroes. In here, you need the extra syllable. This is a different rule from this one. Remember, this is vowel O. This is consonant O. The R is a consonant. The CH is a consonant. The T is a consonant. Okay? One echo, two echoes. One tomato, two tomatoes. One potato, two potatoes. Of course, there are some exceptions, and the exceptions are the word piano and photos. You say pianos, photos. Okay, then we move to the category of the nouns that do not change. They are the same in singular and the same word in plural. For example, the animal. Yes, the one that says me, the sheep. Sheep, sheep, me. Yes, the animal. You say one sheep, two sheep, three sheep, four sheep, no chips. We don't need the S. It's the same word in singular, the same word for plural. One sheep, two sheep. One deer, two deer. Yes, Christmas is coming. And you have the animal that represents Christmas, the deer. Okay, one deer, 
too dear. It's the same word in singular, the same word for plural. Fish, the animal that swims, okay, that swims in the water. One fish, two fish, three fish, four fish. Yes, it's the same word in singular and the same word in plural. It is incorrect to say two fishes. Uh, that's incorrect. The plural form is the same. One serious, two serious. In this case, the word is plural. Serious, it ends in S. Two serious, species, species. Okay? Those are the words that do not change. They have the same singular form, the same plural form. Okay. The irregular plural nouns, they are many. So in here, I have an example of a short list of the most common. Okay, the singular form, person. The plural form, people. Food. Yes, my food. Food, feet. Tooth, teeth. Child, children. Mouse, mice. Repeat at home. Sheep, sheep. Fish, fish. Leaf, leaves. Goose, geese. Woman, women. Aircraft, aircraft. It's the same word in singular and in plural. Eggs, episodes. But it's on, it's on. The same word. Crisis, crisis. Curriculum, curricula. Darum, data. Focus, focus. Serious, serious. Vida, vida. Tuna, tuna. Quiz, quizzes. Index, indices. Man, men. Ellipses, ellipses. Codex, codes. Analysis, analysis. Just a small change. Larva, larvae, alumni, alumni, eratum, errata, ox, oxen, oaxis, oasis, swine, swine, trot, trot, genius, genera, focus, posi, diagnosis, diagnosis. Okay? Th those are the not too much common irregular plural nouns. You don't need to memorize them all, just the most common ones. Now let's talk about holidays. As I mentioned before, today is October 31st. And in most countries, like the United States, people celebrate, yes, we celebrate Halloween. But there are other celebrations around the world. Like, for example, New Year's Eve. Yes, this is the night before the, the, the first day of the new year yes thanksgiving this is another american celebration thanksgiving is celebrated the third the third sunday no, the, the third thursday sorry the third thursday of november yes that's thanksgiving uh this is a uh, most celebrations they have a background history like for example for thanksgiving thanksgiving is like to remember the time when the first pioneers arrived to America and they didn't have anything to eat. And the Native Americans were to the village and share food with the England, English people. Okay, so that's why we need to be thankful. We need to be thankful. And Thanksgiving is a celebration that share is the most important, sharing. That day there is no enemy, everybody is a friend. Then we have the most popular, Christmas. Yes, when do we celebrate Christmas? Every December 25th, yes. We decorate our houses with the Christmas tree, with some figures like sonicles, fireplaces, lights, fireworks, Everybody receive gifts. Christmas, most of the time, is for little kids, right? And New Year's Eve, that's for couples. Look, we have here the glasses of wine. Yeah, celebrations with fireworks and everybody is happy. Another celebration, our birthday. When is your birthday? My birthday is on April. Then we have another celebration, like it's Eastern. Eastern is very popular in the United States. Yes. This uh, Easter has a relationship with Christianity, okay? It is represented by uh, the bunny and the egg hunt. 
Then we have wedding. A wedding is another celebration. Valentine's Day is a day to celebrate love, right? So couple, friends, and people that share love, they celebrate that day with heart. Everything is decorated with red heart, and people uh, interchange chocolate and cards. Father's Day, this is very popular here in Panama, Father's Day. Mother's Day, this is one of the most important celebrations of our country, right? Mother's Day. And this is on December 8th for Panama, but this is on May for the rest of the world. We celebrate a Mother's Day like in United States in May. And I think that in the rest of Central America, they celebrate it on May. Panama is the only country that celebrated in a different day. That is on December 8th. That's because of the Virgin, the Mary Virgin. Okay. April Fool Day, this is a celebration from the United States. So people prank others, right? This is the day for pranking. Summer vacation, yes, the summer vacations are considered a holiday. Everybody enjoy a time for be relaxed, to be relaxed in a, maybe in a resort or just in a hammock, you know? International Women's Day, this is another celebration. People celebrate that date with uh, banners, march. Um, most of the times they, they use a pink, a pink lace, yeah. Labor Day, we have different uh, dates for this celebration in Panama. Labor Day is celebrated on May 1st. International Children's Day, this is something that is international. It's the same date for everybody, for every country. And the last one, Halloween, that is celebrated today, October 31st. There are some representative uh, ornaments for each celebration, like for example, Valentine's. The, the ornament is a heart, the red heart. Uh, here, for example, for Mother's Day, the flowers, the roses. For Easter, the bunny and the egg. For Christmas, there is the Christmas tree and the Santa Claus. For Thanksgiving, we have the pumpkin and the, and the turkey. So we have many, many symbols that identify this celebration. In Halloween, we have here <laughs> the bats the dark, uh, the cemetery, we have the pumpkin, but with faces, creepy faces. So celebrations are related to happiness, happiness. So those are a time, most of them for relaxing, others for reflection. American holidays and celebration. As I mentioned before, there are many. There are many celebrations. Uh, Memorial Day is one of the most important celebrations in the United States. In that day, uh, people commemorate uh, for the ones who risk their life to make America the country that it is. So what is the midterm? The midterm exam is for you. You have to select one celebration, the, the celebration that you prefer, the holiday that you prefer. Then you have to research. Look for information about that holiday, when it is celebrated, uh, what uh, traditions do people uh, do that day, um, what food people share, and how are they dressed. You have to research about that, prepare a PowerPoint or a poster, and upload it to the platform. Okay, you can select from the ones that you prefer. Remember that these holidays, they are attached to the calendar and the date for celebration, like January the 1st, a Valentine's on February. We have here a St. Patrick's Day on March. Passover, 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 Passover that includes a Good Friday. That's Passover and Good Friday. Good Friday is a Viernes Santo, if you like it. Independence Day, July 4th. Now, tomorrow is November. So, Panamanians. Independence Day is going to be celebrated on November 28th. But we have other pa parties, like national parties, like for example, November the 3rd, November the 4th, November the 5th, November the 9th, November the 10th. So that's why for Panama is like the whole month, because we have different important dates to celebrate our independence, to be free, the freedom to be a nation. And in here we have Halloween, we have uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. 
you select the celebration or the holiday that you prefer. Look for information and prepare your PowerPoint or poster and then upload it to the uh, platform. Thank you so much.